Hi and welcome to another Decred news update. Over the past month, the Decred chain has been mined by GPUs and not ASICs. The chain is stabilized with a hash rate of 0.012 peta hashes. This is thanks to Decred change proposal 11, which changed the proof of work algorithm to Blake 3, completely breaking ASIC miners, and changing the difficulty algorithm to Acer, which computes a new difficulty every block. This was a massive change to go through and it is a testament to Decred's governance abilities and its talented developer team. With that in mind, let's dive into development updates. Bison Relay is Decred's uncensorable peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol running on Lightning Network. In the 0.1.9 release, there were various improvements to the way the chats are structured. Now chat text is divided by day. There were also a number of fixes including chat ordering and web links now work properly. Changing the font size now works correctly and icons have been updated. The app also seems to be running smoother and faster. Group chats now automatically unsubscribe idle users and remove them from the group chats if they've been absent for too long. Mobile design work has been progressing. For Decred documentation, several pages have been updated for Decred change proposal 12, including the overview, glossary, and constitution pages. These now display the correct block reward split. The effective final split of the total mined coins has been calculated and it's 40.34% to proof of work miners, 49.63% to proof of stake voters, and 10% to Decred's treasury. DCRD is a full node implementation that powers Decred's peer-to-peer -peer network around the world. Added a test scenario to the Acer tests that ensures the difficulty adjusts appropriately when block times are speeding up. The Decred Change Proposal 11 document specifying the change to Blake 3 and Acer has been reviewed and released. This document goes into great detail of the math and formulas used. The block header stays exactly the same. It is a compact 180 byte structure that holds important metadata about the block and allows it to sync and navigate the chain very quickly. Research into difficulty algorithms has shown that Acer is one of the best performers. A new Acer difficulty must be calculated for every block, which is 144 times more frequent than the previous algorithm Decred used. The Acer algorithm can also be calculated 16 times faster. Decred Change Proposal 11 is the biggest change proposal thus far. All Decred enthusiasts are advised to read the full thing. The Voting Results subsection has been added to all 12 of the Decred Change Proposal documents to record at which historical blocks the voting started as well as when consensus changes locked in and activated. CryptoPower is a multi-coin desktop GUI wallet for Decred, Bitcoin, and Litecoin. It runs in a privacy-preserving light SPV mode without needing full blockchains. It supports Decred staking, mixing, voting, and other features. The team has been working on a new overview display for the landing wallet page and for when a wallet is selected. The team is also working to integrate the DCR DEX and polish up other aspects of the UI and user experience. Lots of bugs and other things are being corrected. I would highly recommend checking out this wallet for yourself by visiting CryptoPower.com. On Decred's Lightning Network, a number of improvements across 541 commits were ported from LND. The DCRDEX is a non-custodial, privacy-respecting exchange for trustless trading, powered by atomic swaps. There have been a few different developments and even a potential roadmap released. Full node wallet support was added for Dash. An Electrum Light wallet was implemented for Firo, including test harnesses and wallet client. The app seed display was improved on the backup page. It will now be shown in groups of eight characters. The devs implemented configuration restrictions for wallets controlled externally. This can hide settings like password change if the DEX GUI is embedded in Decrediton and not running standalone and enabled instant visual feedback when the user clicks in another market. For Decred, they added staking support foundations, added a method to fetch a list of voting service providers, and the next step is to create a GUI for staking. I believe this work is being done to prepare for the upcoming Bison Wallet multi-coin platform. And for Bitcoin, fix the crash when attempting to reconfigure a missing or corrupted Bitcoin wallet. Progress has been made for market maker and arbitrage bots. Developers implemented a balanced segregation which limits the amount of funds available to each bot. Implemented simulation of sideways, trending, and volatile markets. This will be used to test bot behavior. Updated the basic market maker strategy to place multiple orders at various distances from the basis price instead of just one, and the possibility of refunds and market making balance calculations is now taken into account. A new wiki documentation page was created for managing DEX trading accounts. A rough plan of development or roadmap has been posted suggesting things that can be accomplished in the current DEX proposal window, and ideas that could be potentially for future proposals. 
The devs are interested in some form of fiat onboarding via a service such as Stripe, the creation of custom tokens that wouldn't be for trading, figuring out Zcash, namely finding a way so users don't need to download the full blockchain, add Zclassic, a Zcash fork with no developer fund, add Arbitrum, a layer two Ethereum technology, more development of transaction history in the UI, improve the UI for bonds, improve UI for user reputation, improve the wallet view to add more useful information, and improvements to the settings and configuration pages. The following is some of what is being considered for future proposals. Dash staking, fear of privacy, Mimblewimble on Litecoin, browser extension for DexC, Lightning Network integration including Bison Relay and possibly a Bison Relay troll box for DEX markets, a Monero native light wallet, a point of sale system to accept payments in any supported asset, offloading client management to improve resource allocation and processes, the possibility of peer-to-peer -peer ticket splitting for staking in DEX mesh roll expansion, and finally bringing DEX to mobile, if it's possible. All of this is very ambitious and I'm very curious to see what the DEX team is able to accomplish under their current proposal and what they will be proposing come 2024. Speaking of Monero, a concept of Monero atomic swap with Bitcoin has been proposed in the atomic swap repository on GitHub. Monero does not have primitives like hashing or time locks needed for atomic swaps, but the proposed scheme requires only one of the two chains to have sufficient scripting capabilities. For Decred service used by voting service providers, added a new integrity check that updates revoked tickets in the database to be either expired or missed. Initial versions of VSPD were unable to distinguish between expired and missed tickets and reported them all as revoked. They also simplified the shutdown code. DCR Wallet now warns users about VSP fee payment errors caused by the wallet being locked. This will allow users to react if a locked wallet blocks VSP fee payments. Fixed broken retrying logic for errored VSP ticket purchases. Fixed a bug where the fee payment status check could be unreasonably delayed. Require VSP clients to wait for the VSP to confirm fee payments before considering a VSP ticket fully purchased. Fix another bug where confirming a VSP ticket fee transaction took longer than necessary. Fix processing of a batch of VSP tickets if one of them failed and move the logic of finding VSP managed tickets out of the VSP client and into the main wallet code. And now looking at Politea Decrypt's proposal platform, the Cake Wallet proposal failed to hit the needed quorum as the voting time was unexpectedly cut short by three days due to fast blocks as the result of a recent change to the proof of work algorithm. Thus, it has been resubmitted with a new proper vote. So if you're seeing this proposal again in your wallet, it's not an error, make sure to vote on it. A brief summary is that this proposal requests $80,000 to support the integration of Decred into the popular Cake Wallet mobile and desktop wallet. The Decred PR proposal phase five is here for renewal. This time the PR team has been expanded to five people. Two PR supports and two media relations pros have been added to help get Decred in various media publications across the internet. A complete list of media coverage has been provided, showcasing what the PR team has been able to achieve to date. The ask for this proposal is $4,000 per month paid in Decred. Some comments were happy to see the PR proposal renewed, and others questioned the style of billing which makes use of retainer fee. The O'Daily content proposal for media articles remains in limbo, seemingly having been abandoned. And now let's look at what the community has been up to and other media. We held a meme competition on X that got lots of cool art and memes created, including some crazy videos. Be sure to follow me on X at ExodusDCR to find those memes and to look for future competitions and other giveaways. Insaf Nori from Morocco was able to ink a partner as Decred Group Community Manager with the National Institute of Innovation and Advanced Technology in Casablanca. Chase Bank has a new policy starting October 16th that declines payments related to cryptocurrency, even telling their clients if you want to invest in crypto, you can try a different bank. Do you think banks should decide what you do with your money? This is only the beginning. With Decred, you become your own bank and make your own choices. UTXO Studios delivered their video series meant for social media called Decred Unmasked. Why would you invest in a government-captured surveillance coin? What's the point of being in crypto with unsecure cryptography? What happened to integrity? Only one coin in the entire crypto space embodies the original ethos. Only one continues to code immutable tech to empower you. Only one building the tools to save us from censorship, surveillance, and fiat. Only one has 21 million hard cap with post-quantum secure mixing and privacy. No venture capital clowns, no shady ICOs, no corporate cronies, no nonsense. The only crypto that empowers you is the only one that really matters. Everything else is bullshit. The revolution will not be centralized. 
join us. Makertronic has created a video in French talking about how to solo mine Decred with a GPU on Windows and Linux. Caramble created a tutorial on how to set up DCR Dex on Umbral using a Raspberry Pi. Now we check the correct installation of Umbral by accessing the IP of the Raspberry Pi via the web browser for the first time. At the first access you will be asked to create a user for your Umbral installation. Step 3. Install DCR Dex via SSH console. To use Decker's App Store for Umbral, we will log in via the SSH console and execute the following commands to install DCR Dex. After you accept it to pay the Fidelity Bond, your account is ready to trade. Phoenix Green created an Atomic Swap Refund Explainer. Unless you've been through the process of an Atomic Swap Refund, it's difficult to report the process and personal emotions. So let's walk through the process and demonstrate what to expect if and when you experience a failed swap. An important thing to remember with atomic swaps is the swap either completes or it doesn't. There's no in between. In my case, I was conducting a DCR to BTC swap. In this instance, I was the taker. A taker's refund will be processed eight hours after the refund has been initially triggered. Whereas a maker's refund will be processed 20 hours after the refund has been initially triggered. It wasn't until the first confirmation came through on the decrypt blockchain that I started getting notifications that something was wrong. At this point, I knew the transaction was likely to fail because there was a communication error with the server. Normally on the decrypt blockchain, three confirmations would trigger the redemption process on both chains. But in this case, the confirmation went to five, which in turn triggered the refund process. The next part was simple. Set my alarm for eight hours time to make sure my DCR DEX software is active and ready to receive the refund. After eight hours, the refund was processed automatically and just needed two on-chain confirmations to completely settle and be unlocked, ready for my next swap. Phoenix Green also had a video on Decred's mining revolution. The idea that a piece of software or hardware will be as strong in the long term as it is today is a flagrant lie. Without the ability to formally change when needed, it will lead projects to be manipulated and exploited at the will of those seeking to gain the system and profit. Take for instance Decred's original theory regarding ASIC mining. The original thought was Decred should be ASIC compatible to provide the highest possible levels of security. During the first four or so years, this was indeed true. Without these high levels of hash power, Decred would have been vulnerable to a multitude of attacks. This was mainly due to the proof of stake component requiring time to establish and distribute to provide stability. When the tables turned for Decred, the ASIC miners were found to be acting against the best interests of the chain. Research was conducted to see what could be done. One benefit of not being pure proof of work is the ability to choose the profitability of the miners. Making the coin less profitable would reduce the hash power and possibly diversify it. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.